One of the most common arguments that I frequently hear for the existence of God, or at least an intelligent designer, is the so-called fine-tuning of the universe. And this isn't just from theists. I mean, I even hear actual atheist physicists saying that the universe is fine-tuned, uh, including people like Stephen Hawking, Leonard Susskind, Lee Small, and physicists that I respect. But quite frankly, this argument just makes zero sense to me. It's especially common to say that the universe is fine-tuned for life. But what exactly is meant by fine-tuning here? Well, according to the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, saying that the universe is fine-tuned for life means that the fact that the universe is able to support life depends delicately on the form of the laws of nature, on the values of some constants of nature, and on aspects of the universe's conditions in its very early stages. There is a sensitive dependence on these values of certain parameters. But underlining this definition and this line of thinking is the idea that these could be different values. You see, fundamentally, in the mind of people proposing that the universe is fine-tuned, it seems like they think of these fundamental laws and parameters as sort of dials. And there are a range of different possible values that these you can dial in to, for these values. For example, you might have a dial from the value of 0 to 100, and it needs to be precisely tuned just to the value of 50 in order for life to exist. It's very common for somebody making this argument to say something like, well, if the value of the strength of the electromagnetic force was even different by one part in a million, then life would not be able to exist. Or some such iteration of this argument. He can say, oh, if the proton mass was slightly different, oh, if the electroweak unification was slightly different, there's infinite amounts of different varieties that this argument takes. But fundamentally, they're all thinking, oh, if you just change these values just a little bit, then all of a sudden the universe cannot permit life. That's fundamentally how all these arguments go. And it just makes zero sense to me because there's zero evidence that any of these things are dials that can assume different values. Like, in order for you to think about these values, these constants of nature as these dials that need to be too finely tuned to certain parameters, you have to assume that it's possible that they could take different values than what is currently observed. And there's just no evidence to support that. And by that, I mean that there's never been an observation of any of these laws or constants of nature having different values or having different interactions. It's not like these laws of nature have ever been observed to vary. Like, they're the same everywhere we look. That's why they're laws of nature. That's why they're constants of nature. They don't change. While it's true that in a mathematical formula, you might be able to change a 2 to a 3 and then calculate the repercussions, in reality, we measure 2 every time. And the only place where that 3 value exists is in the imagination of the physicist crunching the calculations. Now, for me to believe that something is real, that something exists, I need either evidence or a good rational reason to accept something's existence. So for me to accept that the universe is finely tuned, I need either evidence that it is finely tuned, or I need a rational reason to think that it is. Now, we just said there's zero evidence of fine tuning. Like, Yes, you can change the values of these different forces and different constants of nature around in a formula, but that's not actually evidence that that is possible in reality. I mean, you can do math in however many dimensions you want. You can do the math for all kinds of different universes that are not real, that we don't have any evidence for existing. But you can do math in those different universes where you have different laws of physics. You can do that math all day long. That's not evidence for their existence or even evidence for the possibility of their existence. So just because it's possible, theoretically, in some physics equations, for you to 
mess with these fundamental constants and laws and get different results in a universe that's not life permit permitting in your equations that's not evidence that the universe is finely tuned at all in fact our sample size for the universe and these constants and laws is one i mean how can you say that something is finely tuned if your sample size is one now maybe the multiverse exists maybe there's an infinite number of universes that have different permutations of different values for these constants and parameters and laws and our universe is just one in which these values are permitting of life but again there's no evidence for that either there's no evidence for any other universe other than our own so if you're just going where the evidence leads, I honestly, genuinely do not understand how anyone can say that the universe is finely tuned. At least not anything based on evidence. And this is especially true when given the history of physics, where we've seen that constants which were previously thought to be fundamental, like Fermi's constant, for example, in the weak decay interactions, this constant was thought to be finely tuned. It was thought that this value was just so to enable these decay patterns that permit the universe that we live in today. However, down the line, we learned about the weak interaction and we understood that actually Fermi's constant was not fundamental, that it actually arises from more fundamental underlying physics, which explain why it has the value that it has. Now, if that was true for constants like Fermi's constants, well, it, we really don't know whether or not the constants today that are considered to be fundamental are truly fundamental or if there's more underlying deeper layers of physics involved that explain why these forces and constants have the values that they do. But again, just because you can change these numbers around on a piece of paper in the equations that you're doing is not any reason to believe that in reality these things are like dials that have to be finely tuned in on the exact value that's life permitting. There's no reason to think that. There's no evidence to support that that's how this works. And I cannot certainly think of any rational reason for me to think that that should be the case. Maybe you think that the universe is finely tuned and you think that there's something I'm missing. Please let me know in the comments if there's something that I'm missing here, but I genuinely cannot think of why any rational person would ever say that the universe is finely tuned for life. Especially if given the fact that life seems to be so amazingly rare in the universe. At the moment, all we know of is life on earth if the universe is finely tuned for life you'd think that maybe life would be a little bit more common if anything the universe seems to be finely tuned for black holes which are readily abundant at the center of every galaxy or maybe it's finely tuned for supernovas which happen at very commonly regular intervals it seems incredibly anthropocentric to declare that the universe is finely tuned for life if anything life is finally adapted for the universe and this ordering goes the other way around that makes way more sense to me than people saying that the universe is finely tuned so if you think that you have evidence that the universe is finely tuned please let me know about it and better yet if you think you want to debate whether or not the universe is finely tuned please contact me at criticalbasedinquiry at gmail.com. You can find the email on my channel's about page. I would love to have a fine-tuning debate with one intrepid soul out there who thinks that they have some sort of justification, either empirically or rationally, to support the fact that the universe is fine-tuned. Because for the life of me, I genuinely cannot understand why people think that it is. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and subscribe for more.